Heidi here at Texas Art and Soul, and I am collaborating with Julie from Southern Charm Reefs. We're actually going to be doing a um, little collaboration, and sorry about the little technical difficulties a second ago. So thanks for coming back on with me. <laughs> anyway, so this is kind of the mini version. It's like the baby version of this track. And what we're doing is, and I think we are giving this wreath away. I cannot remember for sure. Um, but basically what we're doing is, Julie, I'm going to be doing the Trek and Tree painting tonight. And then Julie from Southern Charm Wreaths, who is amazing. She has beautiful staff. And she's actually on here now. If you want to ask her questions, I'm sure she'd be happy to, to answer. And, um, and then she's going to be creating a wreath to go along with my little baby miniature track that's going to go on her beautiful, beautiful wreath. So thank y'all for joining tonight. And if you have questions, I did bring my laptop. So I can kind of answer them over here on this side. And so excited. Oh, yay, Julie. And we have some people. Darla says, Julie sent me. Thank you so much. And I have a bunch of stuff on, um, on the description. So if you want to find out more about Julie or you want to find out more about me and how, um, how to make money teaching paint parties, you can also use that same technique to teach wreath parties, which I'm sure a lot of you are already doing. Um, my one and only wreath I've ever made is right behind me. <laughs> it, was, it was my one wreath and I was so proud of it. Um, but things keep falling off of it. Like, I don't think I'm a wreath maker. Um, <laughs> I think I need to stick to the painting part of the wreath and then have people like Julie put this on their beautiful wreaths. Because this mermaid wreath that I made, you know, it looks like it's all together right now. If I touch that, the sign will actually fall off. It's pretty, it's pretty sad. So um, I need to figure out how to hot glue that puppy a little bit more or do something to make it a little bit better. So anyway, I'm so glad you're here. Thank y'all for being here. I'm just pulling up my thing. So if y'all have questions, let me know. And yay, Ginger wants to know when we have these for sale. And yeah, if you want one of these, message me and I'll let you know if you want one of these for a price. And I'm actually, um, I was gonna have y'all vote. I made some little things for here. I was thinking, Julie, um, either I could put Southern Charm Wreaths on the little gift tag, or we could put a uh, Merry Christmas. So maybe y'all can vote on that. That would be awesome. Yay, we got lots of people from Julie. Thank you, Julie, and thank you all for joining. So for those of y'all that don't know me, my name is Heidi, and I own a business called Texas Art and Soul, and I basically travel all over the country teaching paint parties. So my job is so much fun. My daughter goes with me very often. And she is 12. She can literally run an event without me. Um, so, so it's really cool to do that. Oh my gosh, we have so many people on. Thank y'all so much for being here. Um, yeah, so basically I teach paint parties all over the country. And then I also teach people how to make money teaching paint parties. So I was working on that very first wreath. And then I was talking to Damon Oates about doing some wreath stuff and talking to Julie. And Julie's like, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's collaborate. So I can't wait to see what she does with the truck and tree. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what she's going to do. So y'all let me know where you are from. Um, we have a lot of new people um, that I haven't met before. So please let me know where you're from. Oh, and thank you for sharing. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. I'm getting nervous. I mean, I'm used to like teaching in front of a lot of people at a live event, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not used to teaching in front of people on a live with this many people live. So thank y'all so much um, for coming on. So I'm just going to start layering the trees. Um, well, not tree. Tree, not trees. And I'm going to kind of see where you are from. And if y'all have questions about painting, paint parties, um, anything like that, let me know. And I'm just here, I'm going to be basically just yapping. I'm, for those of y'all that know me, I overshare. I tend to way overshare my life and my family's life and my blogs. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of kind of crazy stories happen in our life. So I tend to overshare. So if you have any questions, please feel free. And I'm just going to cover this whole thing with green first. And let's see if y'all have any questions. We have... And Patty from Houston, oh yay. 
And Judy from Texas. Let's see who else is on here. And let's see, who do we have else here? Oh, sometimes it shows them to me, sometimes it doesn't. Sherry's on here. Yay, Rita's on. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Rita. And for those of y'all, look at how many people are on this live, Bobby. It's crazy town. <laughs> Here's my husband. Hey. He does the lives with me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good crowd. I know. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting nervous. You are making me nervous. Um, yeah, so I'm just putting um, a layer of green on. Sometimes Bobby does the lives with me and he'll out paint me. It's like he'll show me up in the live. And I'm like, no, don't do that. But yeah, y'all tell me where you are from and if y'all have any questions. And then I'm just going to kind of walk y'all through because here's the thing about the truck and tree so many people and I teach this full tutorial in my paint party headquarters and so many people um teaming with Julie will blast your business off the planet is that ginger that said that <laughs> yeah ginger I'm so excited to be here I feel honored to have her just want to do this with me so thank y'all so much for being here and thank you so much um Julie for you know, trust in me to do this with you. So, so excited. Um, but yeah, so, so many people do, you know, they do truck and trees, but they just do like a flat red, a flat green, and then they call it a day. Um, <laughs> McKinney, what are you talking about? You're doing great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, is that Mariella? Thank you, Mariella. Yeah, I have a lot of in my group in here. And that's what I was saying, you know, this, I do the full tutorial in my Paint Party Headquarters. Um, so if you want to know more about that, there's a link in the top where you can get a free gift. And then I'll also put a link towards um, Julie's website so you can find out all her wreath stuff as well. And um, she does a really cool wreath, like decorating tips and all of that where she does like a club where every month I think she gives several tutorials. Um, so if you want to know more about that, check that out in the comments. And then if you want to know more about paint parties, check the other link out in the comments as well. So what I find is that so many people just do kind of a flat base. Um, what I like to do is I like to make a ton of shading. And some people look at this and they think it might be hard, but it's really not that hard. And I teach, like I said, the full tutorial in the Paint Party Headquarters. But I'm just going to take a couple of reds, some bronze or copper, and then all I'm doing is just kind of shading, and I'm probably going to get a little painted here. Um, and then if y'all have any questions, let me know. Yeah, I'm so excited. You know, my first business was accidental. I wasn't just a regular, you know, diehard entrepreneur. I, I kind of fell into it. Our family, we went bankrupt. We lost everything. Totally embarrassing. And um, humiliated. Wouldn't talk about it for many, many years, especially not on a Facebook Live like this right now. <laughs> but we were just, you know, we just lost everything. And we actually lived in Panama City Beach. So for those of you that know people, um, you know, I just got off the phone with my brother a few, um, about an hour ago, and he was, you know, headed back into town. We, we lived there for 10 years, and he said it's so awful. So if y'all could please just say a prayer for those people that are in Panama City Beach, Destin, you know, all that area, They're, um, Lynn Haven, Mexico Beach, all of them just have lost so much. Um, so if y'all could, you know, say a prayer for them, that would be so great, because my, my brother said it just, it looks like, you know, a bomb just went off. He said it's so awful. Um, so yeah, so, you know, back to kind of how I started in, you know, being a business owner, I, you know, my, my husband and I, we were living in Florida, we had a little baby, and we lost everything. You know, my husband lost his job, we just lost it all, and we came to a time in our life where we thought that, um, you know, we thought we had everything figured out. Have you been, have you ever been in that time of your life? Give me a like or a, a heart if you know what I'm talking about, like when you feel like you have it all figured out, and then you realize, you know, life kind of smacks you in the face, and you realize you don't have any of it figured out. <laughs> well, that's what happened to us. We we were doing everything like we thought we should, and then the next thing you know, we were those people that were borrowing from our credit cards, you know, to pay, you know, it was just awful. And so we ended up losing everything. My husband lost his job, and I didn't realize at the time, but I was using art to heal. I didn't realize. And I started painting these little wooden surfboards. We had some scrap wood. We 
We'd already moved out of our house into an apartment and we had some scrap wood and I was just kind of making these little miniature surfboards, right? And yeah, Ginger says God's laughs when we think we have it all figured out. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, we got laughed at really hard. And so we ended up, um, I was just painting these little miniature surfboards and just kind of, you know, doing something to get my mind off of all of the humiliation that I was feeling at the time. And, um, and I took them up to the school where I worked. I was an art teacher. I was an art teacher for 10 years. And every kid, you know, I taught 850 kids a week. And every kid kept coming up and going, you know, oh my gosh, you know, please put my name on it, Miss Easley. Miss Easley, can you put my name on it? That's amazing. And they just kept on and kept on. And, you know, after about the hundredth time, I was like, oh yeah, I could probably sell these and make some money, you know? And, um, and yeah, this is acrylic paint too, by the way. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I could sell these and make some money. And so, um, you know, we didn't have any money. Like I said, we had lost everything. So I talked to my mother-in-law and we kind of went 50-50 on it. And we decided to try this out. We were going to, you know, go see if we could set up and teach some, some paint part, you know, teach these little um, surfboard things. I could hand do them. And, um, oh, North Carolina, yay! Oh, Melissa's here. And so I was like, okay, so we go to this place called Pier Park. Some of y'all have probably heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, you might have heard of it now on the news. And we go to Pier Park and I talk to the guy who's running Pier Park and I'm like, can I please, can I please do these for your, for your, um, you know, sell these for your fight. I'm sorry, I'm reading comments too. I should not read comments while I tell a story. It's really hard. Um, so I was like, you know, can I sell these at your fine mall, outdoor mall establishment? And to my surprise, he says yes. And so we get ready to set up and you know i have like roped my family in you know we're gonna sell these surfboards we are going to you know get ourselves out of this hole that you know we've moved into an apartment now we have sold every single thing we've owned i've had to switch cars three times and i was too embarrassed to tell my friends so i would just say oh you know i just want a different car you know in my 20s you know looking back we just we didn't realize you know that People probably thought that was very strange. We were just too scared to tell anybody what was happening. And so we get ready to set up and nobody, nobody is buying my surfboards. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this sucks. Oh my gosh, like, you know, God, what is going on? Like, what are we supposed to do? And um, my mother-in-law, you know, senses my frustration and she says, come on, let's go to, there's a Buffalo Wild Wings because, you know, what do you do when you've lost everything, you've failed, fallen on your face in front of the world several times, and you're not even 30 yet? You know, bankrupt to business owner before the age of 30. I wasn't even 30 yet. So we ended up going to um, Buffalo Wild Wings and having a drink at the bar, because that's what you do when you fail many times. And so a drink in, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awful. This is the worst thing ever. Another drink in. What am I going to do? Like, this was my plan B. I have no other plan, you know? And then another drink in, I'm just like, you know, this, it's over. You know, when you're, you're in your 20s and you don't know what's going on and you've already failed that much, you just don't know what to do. And then my husband calls and everything changes. He calls and he says, Heidi, get over here. We have orders. And I'm like, no, we don't. You're lying. He's like, no, Heidi, get over here. And it's just a short walk across the street from where I was set up. I was renting a 10 by 10 square foot of concrete for $1,000 a month that I was splitting with my mother-in-law, praying and hoping that I would make the money to be able to just pay that. And so I, I was sitting there and um, I walk over, and this is, this is the moment that changed everything for me. I walk over there and my husband, you know, he's sitting there man in the booth and we had these paper tickets. So picture these were the tickets, right? These were orders. And he has a stack of tickets and he's holding them up and he's like, he's like, Heidi, get to painting, get to painting. And it was this moment where, you know, I don't know if y'all can relate, if y'all can give me a like, or maybe you haven't had this kind of struggle before, but it was this moment where I felt like I was like flat on my face, like totally done for, you know, I had tried everything, done everything. Life had beat me up and it was hard and I didn't like it. <laughs> and then it was like, God scooped me up and he said, you know, it's, it's going to be okay. Not only is it going to be okay, Heidi, not only are you going to be okay, but you can do what you love, which is painting, which is what I've done since I was 14. And it gave me this unshakable confidence since I was that, you know, since we were kind of that broken, it gave me this unshakable confidence that God has a plan 
And so if you would have told me over 10 years ago that I would be talking about my bankruptcy story to y'all, first off, I didn't even know what a Facebook Live was, right? But I would have never, ever thought of that. And so I look now, you know, sometimes we have different situations. They might not be a financial situation. Um, it might be a health situation. It might be, you know, a divorce or, you know, something going on with your kids. Whatever the case may be, um, I just want you to know that sometimes, like, when we're in it, we can't really tell what's going on. We can't tell what's happening. But once it's, you know, through, we can see it. And now that I'm through it, it's almost like I can see things now as they're happening. So when I had a bunch of health struggles and a bunch of other, we all have our crazy stories, right? And um, now I can see that, you know, God's got a plan in this. There's some kind of plan. So hopefully that craziness talk of me being nervous in front of y'all <laughs> helped or maybe got through. Um, I usually can, you know, tell my story a little bit more, but I, I think I'm just nervous because Julie brought a lot of folks over here and I'm nervous. So I'm going to try to start painting now. And I just wanted to let you know a little bit about me and where I come from and why I'm here tonight. So let me know if you have questions. And um, it is never a failure. It is a learning lesson. Hard to take, but build you up. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. I feel like Ginger, sometimes I've had so many learning lessons that I'm like, God, can we just have a break for a little while? <laughs> can we just have, can we just not learn this year? Just this year. Let's just be a year of non-learning. <laughs> can we just have one year where we just don't learn? You know, and I know it's all part of the plan. So I'm taking bits of copper, bits of, um, oh, like and share the page. Oh, thank you all so much. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see with how many people on here if my numbers go up tonight. I'm like, oh my gosh, because I know Julie has a huge loyal fan base and she is amazing. Yeah, maybe one day we can do this collaboration in person. Julie, that would be awesome. Um, so I'm just kind of adding little bits of black. And again, I'm adding black and copper to make this go into here. And then if people have questions, um, some of us learn slower. <laughs> I know. I think I'm in the slower category because I keep I keep getting all these lessons. I'm like, come on, no more lessons. I'm good. I'm good. So yeah. So now it's, it's just been a little bit of a. Um, I feel like I feel like this year's. I mean, you know, besides the this, you know, all my family's safe in Florida, so I'm very thankful for that. And. Um, so I feel like, you know, besides that craziness right now, we have a little bit of a, a breather for a minute. Oh my gosh, yeah, I've been through bankruptcy too. It's hard to get back from that, but when you do, you're stronger, especially if your marriage survives it. Yes, oh my gosh. I think, too, I think you know, having your partner and somebody to kind of help you through that is definitely, definitely beneficial because, yeah, I don't know what I would have done without, without Bobby through that and family and the people that did know, not many knew, but, but yeah, the people that did know. So yeah, I'm just using acrylic paint and I'm just blending it. And um, like I said, I have the full tutorial on this and um, for this size on my paint party headquarters. So if you want to know about that, just um, click the link and then I'm going to be adding some different greens. So I just added a few of the different shades and then I'm going to start adding different greens. So one of my favorite things to use, I don't know if y'all, do y'all do y'all use metallic paints? Metallic paints are my favorite. So, and those of y'all that share, thank y'all so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit of the metallic green, a little bit of the metallic green, and then I'm going to take darker ones too. So I'm going through from darker to lighter, and I'm just kind of blending it. And this one is a really dark green. This one's called emerald green it's a matte metallic from deco art and if any of y'all have any um votes i want to know whether y'all want the tag to be set because i think like i said me and julie i think we're giving this wreath away um so do y'all want it to say southern charm wreaths or do you want it to say merry christmas on the tag um i was thinking about putting southern charm wreaths the scw on the tree um, but let me know. Let me know your vote in the comments. I would really appreciate that. And my shirt is like coming up all weird. Sorry about that. 
So this is like a little mini version, and my husband cut this out, but I get craft creations to do a lot of my cutouts. These were cut by my husband. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, hey, I need this done pretty quick, so he'll cut it out, or I can cut it out too. I just don't, I don't enjoy that part of it. I like to just paint it. Um, I would rather paint it any day over, you know, cutting it, but I have cut them in the past and cut many surfboards and all of that as well. But I just like to paint it. So yeah, y'all vote. So Merry Christmas. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so I think we are giving this wreath away after Julie does her magic to it. So I'm going to finish this tonight and then ship it to her tomorrow so she can do a live next week so we can have our collaboration together. So I'm really excited to see what she does with it. Because like I said, that was my first wreath. And if you touch it, it falls apart. Like, it is not good, people. It is not good. <laughs> I was so excited about painting the, um, the tail, the mermaid tail for it. But when I went to add the, um, the other stuff, like I hot glued. And then I put it in the sun. And of course, the hot glue melts. And... So then I wired it. I mean, there's another flower that's supposed to be on there. I just can't get it to, I can't get it to do its thing. So it's pretty, it's pretty sad. But you know, we all have something we're good at. <laughs> I'm just not very good at, at wreath making. So I'll make the paintings that go on the wreaths. How about that? How about we do that? So yeah, y'all let me know if you're interested or if there's a need for this. Um, I don't know, y'all wreath makers out there, do y'all actually paint your own things to put on it or do you find stuff to buy? I'd be curious to know. Because when I teach paint parties, sometimes, um, you know, I'll teach the door hanger part, but I won't, you know, I'll just say, hey, you could do this with a wreath and, you know, people could add it on there if they want. So let me know. I'd be curious to see. So I'm just adding layers of the different greens, just kind of adding them on there. And then if y'all let me know, I'd love to see who all is here. Oh, so she buys hers. Um, is that, and let's see, excited about Christmas. I know I'm so excited about Christmas. And Dina says, I buy my wreath attachments. Kimberly says both. Yeah, I would love to hear all of y'all's um, take on it. If you just buy them or if you actually um, make your own. Let's see, I paint my own but rather buy Betsy. Both, but mostly buy. Oh, wow. So you are like me. Like, I'd rather paint it and then buy a wreath. <laughs> Where y'all would rather make your wreath and buy the attachment. Is that what I'm hearing? Let me grab some silver on my paint wall. So I'm just making the door, or the little window. I'm just taking some, um, meta again, metallic. Love my metallic. Both but want to make my own. Both depends on how much time I have. Awesome. And how many of y'all that are doing wreaths on here, um, how often do you make a wreath? Is that like a monthly thing? Like do you make one for every month? Um, I'm just curious because I am totally new to the wreath world, I have to admit. Um, I didn't have a wreath for my door until this past year. <laughs> I'm almost 40. I'll be 40 in July. And I, I'm i just, not, it's funny, I'm a painter, as you can see the wall behind me. I paint anything and everything people will let me. But I don't know how to decorate. And I know some people think, you know, people that are, that don't know much about decorating think that if you're a painter, you can automatically decorate. That is not true. Um, I can paint stuff and put it on the wall, but to make it look like it's all cohesive, um, not my strong point, so not my strong suit. So my cousin actually gave me a wreath. It was like an old Christmas wreath. And I saw a tutorial Julie did on how to make like an old wreath all spruced up on her page um, on Southern Charm Wreaths. And I saw that and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be so cool to maybe do that with mine. Um, because it is, it's like all flat and it's just really, I just honestly guys I never even like knew why people had wreaths and now that I think because we moved so much after the bankruptcy I had so we had so many moves and so um, my daughter I think by the time she was seven we had lived in six different houses and um, because we were moving from rental house to rental house just trying to get our our feet you know or trying to get back up above water 
And, um, and so I, you know, until now, now we own our house and now I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, that's why people have wreaths. Now, every time I had this on the door before, well, without the sign, but I had this on the door before this Facebook live. And I love it because every time I walk through my door, I see the, you know, the painting I did and the little decoration I put together. And so I can see totally why people do that. And um, says, I, I make my own for different holiday seasons or whatever customers want on a wreath. And um, if you sell, you make them all the time. I still work, this is um, Denise and then Ginger. If you sell, you make them all the time. I still work full time, hopefully to retire soon. I will start a full time business when I retire and do at least three wreaths per day. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of wreaths. Wow, you can make that many in a day? Yeah, I, yeah, I made that one and it took me, um, I guess I made it a day, but I mean, I didn't put much on it. As you can see, I just did a couple paintings. I didn't really do a lot of the wreath cool stuff that y'all do. Let's see, I started painting, was my major in college, but then just started making wreaths and loved it. Have always loved crafts. Oh, Evelyn, that's my grandma's name. Evelyn, I love that name. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious because I was so proud of my wreath and then it all fell apart. So I'm like, man, I want to try it again, but I'm kind of nervous. And I think it would be so, so much fun to offer that to my paint party goers. Like I said, I teach, you know, paint parties all over. And I think it would be so fun to um, do like a wreath, you know, door hanger combo as a paint party. I think that would be so much fun. How many of y'all actually do wreaths just, if y'all put on there just for fun or as a business? I'm curious to see who's out there as a business. And we, I'm in Texas, so we have had um, rain like all day, all yesterday. It has been insane. It went, well, it was like almost 80 degrees yesterday and it dropped to 40 overnight. So me and my daughter Pixie, we were like, we're not ready for winter. We're not ready for this. And I know we're babies, but we're just, in Texas, we're not used to this, especially when it's 80 degrees and then drops. Um, okay, so Karen does both. Um, she is the best. Join, Ju join Julie's group. She is the best. As a business, as a business did my first show today, Retha says. Just started a wreath business. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I bet this time of year too, y'all's wreaths just explode. I bet y'all have so many sales from um, wreaths. I know with paint parties, that's the same with us too. Yes, the rain doesn't go away. I know it's like, oh, I know I'm trying to, trying to just get my mind set. Like I put on Hallmark movies today and painted most of the day, and just try to get my brain like in cold. Because if I'm prepared for it, I'm okay with it. But if I'm not prepared for it, then that's when I get mad. Um, Christina says, cannot wait to get started. I want to do paint parties, but I'm starting out with painting stuff and selling. Oh, that's awesome, Christina. You know what is really cool about doing paint parties? Um, and I'm just outlining this while I tell y'all something that's kind of cool. Um, I have a lot of artists that, you know, they really want to do, like, commission art. Or they want to um, sell their, like, pet portraits and stuff like that. And Beth says, I want to start doing paint parties. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a free guide in the comments at the top. You can get a free video and a guide that tells you exactly how to find your paint party customers so you can get started, especially during the season. But um, what people don't realize is that paint parties, you know, my friend Jenny says it best. She says, paint parties is the gateway drug to creative life. And it's so funny because it's true. You can literally like put those items for sale at your paint parties, which I love. So I'll have things for sale at my paint parties. And so then not only are you making the money from a paint party, but you can also make the money from your commissions or it leads to murals and things like that. And um, where did you say you got your signs from? Karen, I actually had my husband cut this. This is a double. I did both sides. Um, I had my husband cut this and cut the mini one. And then, um, so a lot of times my husband will cut it. And then sometimes my, um, I have craft creations which um, they are amazing. I have them do a lot of cutting for me too. And they actually cut this one. I don't know if y'all saw this tutorial. They cut the hippo for me. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. 
And then they also cut, let me show y'all the llama I did. They cut the llama. I did this side llama. It's, uh, it's not finished yet. And then a Christmas llama with a scarf and sweater and little boots. And then they cut this one too, a cactus. And this is my daughter. She actually painted this one for me. But yeah, there's all kinds of, um, all kinds. And I was inspired. Sarah, she, um, she's a friend of mine. She also does paint parties. And she's the one that inspired the cactus. Um, let's see. Julie sent me. Oh, thank you, Julie. Man, you have so many people in here. I appreciate it. Do you do parties like painting with a twist? Went to one of those in Houston a few years ago and had a blast. Ginger, I do both. I do paint and praise workshops, and I do also um, paintings at restaurants where people can order drinks. So Thursday night's painting is at a distillery, which means there's um, all kinds of like, like really cool vodkas and stuff like that that they make. And that party has about 20, I think I had to finally, because of the room, we only have about 25 spots available. So I had to, um, I had to do sold out on that one because there wasn't enough um, room for more people. And so that one's a monthly event. And then I do paint and praise parties, which those are just a little bit more um, like God centered. Like, you know, we, and um, sometimes I share like a testimony or a story that's happened that kind of, you know, can help people through something. And then, you know, we'll pray. And then it's just also kind of a space to let women get together and create. And those I teach anywhere from 10 to 200 people at a time. And those are the ones where I travel all over the country. So if y'all have um, events like that, let me know. I love going to large events. And um, love the Christmas llama. Watching from South Carolina near Julie. Yay! Cute things. Hey, Susan. Howdy. Good evening. Oh, y'all love the llama? Yeah, I wasn't sure about his sweater and his boots. I feel like I need to add a little bit more to that because I'm not loving the sweater and the boots. I think it's, um, let me show y'all again. So I'm, I really love this side of him. I feel like this side's so cute. And then when I do this side, I feel like he needs something else. Like, what do y'all think? <laughs> Can y'all give me some tips on this? I feel like the llama needs a little love on this side. So this is my spring side for paint parties. And then this is my winter side. But I feel like I need to change them up a little bit. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all think I should change up the sweater. I felt like maybe I need to paint over the whole sweater. And what I'm doing now is I'm adding some black lines to this truck and tree. Oh, I'm so glad y'all like the llama. The llama is so much fun to paint. And I was in Walmart the other day. It's like every gift bag has Christmas llamas. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So they must be popular right now. So let me know what y'all think on that. Um, Linda says, add a touch of black and fur to his sweater. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe in this design, kind of like in here. Is that what you're saying? Um, Shauna says, I like the sweater. <laughs> Thank you. Need to do a smaller llama so it could be used on a wreath. That would be so fun. Oh my gosh, I would love to make some small llamas for wreaths. That would be so fun. Um, another question for y'all wreath makers. Um, if you are interested in something like this, let me know if you want like hand painted things to y'all. Um, that would be awesome. I never even thought about doing that for, um, for people, but if you are interested, that might be something that we could do. So I'm just adding a little bit of um, copper. So I'm gonna add some white to this, and then I'm gonna put some snow on here in a second, and add a little bit to, to the windows. Let me see. To the windows, to the wall. Yeah, I probably shouldn't sing that. <laughs> the, um, would be very interested. Oh, awesome. Yeah, message me. That would be great. Christina says, the tall needs details so it doesn't clash together. The tail. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. What do y'all think I should do on the tail? 
Because, you know, like when sometimes when you finish a wreath or a paint, you're just like, it is missing something, but I cannot figure it out. And so maybe I need to like add something to this tail, um, add something to um, his sweater. And this I'm just adding little white highlights. Are you selling your signs and how much? And Denise, I, that's kind of like new that just happened on this live. So I wasn't planning on it, but I would love to if people are interested. So just message me and I can send you a price because especially these small ones, they would be really um, cheap to ship. So it would just be a matter of the time for me to create them. So yeah, so let me know. And then Betsy says, yes, I would like a truck and about the size if you have those for sale. Awesome, Betsy. Um, Scarlet, yes, add a bow. Julie, add some gray texture. Awesome. I think the sweater is great, but maybe some texture in the tail area. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add all those details and then repost the finished product. Um, yeah, so I, I wasn't getting on here planning on selling any of these, but if y'all are interested, um, message me. That would be kind of cool to work with some of y'all with y'all's wreath designs. So we could see if it's something that would be beneficial to both of us. So yeah, just message me and we'll check that out. Um, and I'm kind of looking over here to see if you have more ideas. Pam says, need something closer up the neck, maybe holly leaf, more Christmas. Oh, uh, you know, and I was thinking of trying to put a hat on him, you know, something like that. And um, Judy wants, wants trucks also. Oh, awesome. Judy, do you want it painted and ready to go or do you want it blank? Let me know which way and then I'll know how to refer y'all. Um, Cause I can, I can paint them for you or you can get the blanks and then paint them yourself. Okay, and I'm just adding this to it. And any of y'all that are on here, I put um, Julie's link to her website in the, um, in the description. And it says her website, which takes you all the way to her um, wreath. She has a wreath club like thing of the month, which is really cool. Um, wreath makers are always looking for signs. Oh, that's awesome. And um, hat would be so cute. I know, Pam, I think so too. I was trying to figure out how to get a hat on his ears or like maybe a sweatband. It would be so cool to do like an 80s rocker llama. It'd be so much fun. I really need to do one of those. Yeah, I could paint Christmas llamas all day. That would I would just put on Hallmark movies and paint Christmas llamas. Life would be good. That would be a that would be a fun little little gig. So yeah. And let's see, either way, but probably painted. Yeah, and um, y'all message me if you're really if you're interested in buying and painted, let me know. Cause when I'm not blabbing, it's a lot faster. <laughs> when I'm not talking the whole time, I can do it way faster. And thank y'all, those of y'all that have shared this um this thing, I I was like, I don't know if y'all saw me, but my hands were shaking at the beginning of this live. You know, I teach um, women all over the world how to teach paint parties, and I have a you know online membership, and I also teach paint parties all over the country, right? And I am used to not this many people on my live, so when I first started, I was I was shaking. So thank y'all so much for being here. Thank y'all for the support and not you know laughing me off the off the Facebook live here because um because yeah I was just like whoa the numbers were going up and I was freaking out a little <laughs> yes I would like mine painted just like you're doing oh that's cool and then I can also put like last names and um, like on this one I can put like this is my last name or I can put your town and I can put established whatever the case may be so um so yeah so I think I just put paint on my head you do great. Oh, thank you, Christina. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a little bit of shading. It's not a lot, but a little bit goes a long way. And I know some people get a little bit nervous when it comes to shading. Um, but I actually teach this painting to um, the people in Paint Party Headquarters and to everybody um, at Paint Party. So I teach this painting design a lot. And I always like to tell them, like, you know, it is like, it's not the beginner level, but it's not really, it's not that hard. You know, if you follow the steps, it's really not that hard. And so, um, so yeah, so if people are interested in that, let me know, just message me and then um, I'll try to get back to you tonight or tomorrow for sure.
my daughters at a cheer game tonight. They had to cheer for like a volleyball game. We had a big volleyball game thing at our school and she's a cheerleader. And so my husband went to go pick her up. But um, yeah, if it, if it gets too late, then I'll just check them in the morning. So don't, don't be alarmed if I don't get back to you tonight. Um, you know how they say all artists are night owls? I don't think that's true. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I, um, I, yeah, sometimes I'm a night owl, sometimes I'm not. Um, Mariella says, did you already come out to Frisco? Oh, not for, um, not for uh, this event. Um, I think I have one scheduled. And then Christina says, when it comes to shading, do you have to think about it? If it's further away from you, the darker, and the closer may have a highlighter or a lighter. Yeah, when it comes to shading, here's the thing. Like, when it's far away, you can see all those little designs, but watch when it gets closer. You can see, so I'm really going to kind of blend those a little bit more because, again, whenever, you know, it's kind of to get, whenever I'm talking and doing it, it's harder to blend. But you just kind of take your reds with your coppers and just go. So, like, if I put too much copper there and I'm not loving that, I just go back on top of it with red. No big deal. And then I can almost start it over again. And it's okay because it still has a shade, a, sh a shadow under it. Um, Jules says, oh, I love your name. Are you coming to Tennessee anytime soon? You know, I was just in Alabama and then I was in Florida. I flew out right before the hurricane, luckily. Um, so I have been traveling quite a bit. So it just depends. It depends on... Um, I have a minimum and a travel fee, so it depends on the amount of people. Um, so, but I can teach anywhere up to 200. So if you have like a large church or an event space and you want me to come up for something, just message me and we can talk out the details. But I, I love to travel. I love Tennessee too. I was um, just, we've been that area a lot. I went to Alabama twice this year. Uh, no, three times this year. And then I went through Tennessee a couple times. We went to Florida twice this year so yeah we've been we've been moving and grooving a lot it's been a little crazy so I'm gonna add some snow and this is the easiest part guys you can use snow text which I'm gonna be bringing to my events this year and um, snow text it's just a real it takes you know about three it, it takes a few days to dry but um, it takes a little while to dry <laughs> but you can also just use the back of your brush and just take this part's just so fun and so easy so I just kind of take it and dot it all around the truck so sometimes the more dots you do the better and if you have it flat it obviously works better but just a bunch of dots on there all over the truck so you want it to kind of have a snow a snow effect I am sorry it looks great I was just saying if an object has a shape the further it is the darker the closer parts of the shape would be lighter, also depending on where the light is hitting the shape of the object. Oh, yes, Christina. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, um, a lot of times, too, whenever I'm teaching the paint parties, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get real technical here. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and they're like, what? I'm like, just blah. Just blah here, blah there. Because sometimes I think, um, especially when you're teaching beginners, they can get really... Um, confused so like if you're if Christina definitely if you already know about shading and stuff you're probably like yeah Heidi probably needs to shade a little bit over there a little bit more over here and um, where you know I'm probably not doing it totally like legit where it should be um, and I want to do a little line here so I'm just covering this up I want to do um for Southern Charm Reefs. I want to do, like, see this little SCW? I want to put that in the track. So whoever ends up getting this, they can kind of have a reminder um, so that you can, you know, see that. Because I'm going to do, I think y'all voted, I'm going to do the Merry Christmas on the gift tag. So I'm going to send that to Julie as well. So she'll have the gift tag to work through. And if y'all have never used vinyl, you're going to get to see how to do the vinyl too. And Jewel says, thank you so much. I wish I'd known when you were in Alabama. That's not too far from me. Plus, I love Alabama football. So I could have could have Christmas shopped while I was there. Oh my gosh, yeah. And that Alabama place, I might end up going there again. They really loved it. And I loved going there. There is so much hospitality 
in Gadsden, Alabama. Oh my gosh, I felt like so loved. I was given gifts and food and just everything. It was so crazy. Um, are you coming to South Carolina around Irmo, Columbia area? Pam, it just all depends on, um, right now I don't have anything scheduled, but if an event happens, if y'all um, have any large churches or locations, it just depends on, um, so y'all can always refer people to me and then I can contact, but basically I travel based on the event that's scheduled. So like the Alabama and the Florida events, I scheduled with churches and then um, as long as there's the minimum, I have minimum requirements and then I travel all over and then I just kind of I do like a paint and praise workshop where we um, do a paint party and then I sh if they want me to I share my testimony and um, if not then I we just paint and have, have a good time so so yeah so either way oh Jules please let me know when you go back to Alabama yes I will and um, so this is a vinyl stencil so basically I use this big old machine I have a US cutter over here and the reason I use that is because I cut out tons and tons of these at a time. Like I said, I do parties up to 200 people at a time. So I can't just do like one cut, one cut. I have to cut like 80 at a time sometimes. So this machine just, I can cut it and I can actually leave and go pick up my daughter or do whatever I need to do. Um, but this, you just take off the back. So I'm taking off the back and this says Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna show y'all. So I'm just taking off the back and I have to make sure that all the blue stays on there. So this has been a game changer in my paint parties. So if you're a person who's thinking about doing paint parties or you're already doing paint parties and you're thinking maybe I should get a vinyl cutter, maybe I shouldn't, um, this has been a game changer because I was the girl that, let me see how she might want that, probably this way. I was the girl that would go around and um, freehand everybody's initial, <laughs> freehand everybody's stuff. And it would take forever. And one time I was teaching a paint party. It was 55 teachers in an in-service. And my daughter Pixie, she was helping me. She helps me a lot. And I do pay her. She doesn't work for free. She, she gets paid very well. And she gets bonuses if she does a good job. We have a whole pricing structure. Anyway, um, it's a good way to teach her how to earn money. And especially when we do our paint party road trips. We do a lot of traveling road trips. She um, earns money for all the fun adventures we're going on. So like this last summer, we did, um, she's obsessed with Harry Potter. So she earned like almost $200 and then she was able to use all that at Harry Potter and buy a wand and all of this crazy stuff. So she was doing a paint party with me for teacher in service and I forgot that the teachers would be able to like leave their stuff there. And so I said, yeah, if you want your last name on it, just write it, you know, write it down and I'll come by and do it. Oh my gosh, that was a mistake. Okay, all I did was take off the clear piece now and now I'm gonna paint in the, the edges here. And it might pull off some of the paint and if it does, I'll just have to go back and add that on. It's not a big deal. But I, um, but I wanted something kind of cute to go with the truck for Julie. But, um, yeah, so what happened was they, they all left notes, like all 55 teachers, and said, yeah, if you could, could you spruce this up, and could you put my last name, and could you outline this? And so poor Pixie, she went around for almost two hours. Oh my gosh, I think I bought her ice cream on the way home. I gave her like two bonuses <laughs> because she was cleaning up the whole party while I ran around freehanding everybody's names and so after I've gotten a cutter now I can use it I actually um, for like all the pumpkins I've done recently and um, if you look at my page you'll see all the paint parties I've done recently and I just have everybody have a stencil and then they can do their own and it is so much better oh my gosh so much better so I always tell people like you don't have to have a vinyl cutter to do a paint party business you don't um, but it definitely was a game changer because you're, you have so many more options and you know, the painted, I've done a lot of painted prayers, like painted prayers events where it's like quotes or, um, and I just painted that on top and then I'm going to pull it, um, either painted prayers or quotes. I have a, a painted prayer in there. It's called relax. It's going to be great. And it's by Gabby Bernstein. Um, 
I love her quotes. Oh yeah, this is pulling up really bad. Okay, what to do, what not to do during a Facebook Live when you're collaborating with an awesome wreath maker named Julie from Southern Charm Wreaths. You don't do this. That paint was not good for that. This is a fail. <laughs> don't look at that. I'm gonna repaint that and do it later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freehand that one. So as I talk about the greatness of a vinyl stencil, I'm also going to tell you that I'm going to freehand that because sometimes the paint sticks too much. So I think it's the um, background. This was a little tag that I bought. This was a tag I bought from Michaels. It wasn't the one I had, so that one was a, not a good one. Um, paint and praise would be great. Yeah, I love doing paint and praise because then it's like, you know, it was, it was funny. I was at my um, friend's church in Florida, you know, right, right before the hurricane, and I was like, you know, please give me honest feedback. I just want to know, like, what, you know, what I could do better. And I'm going to put um, S SCW on this, on the door. Um, that's what happened to me during my pumpkin door hanger. I feel your pain. <laughs> I know. Well, look at my beautiful art. Whoa. Fail. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was um, asking my friend, I said, you know, what, Tell me like some honest feedback, you know, what could have been better about the paint and praise and usually for the paint and praise, you know, a lot of times I'll share a story and then we'll pray before the event and then, you know, and I always try to pray like, you know, even if it's at a restaurant where people are drinking, I always try to pray before because you just don't know like who's coming to your event. You don't, you know, they might be coming alone, which a lot of times I find out later, you know, somebody's come alone and then they're so thankful that they, you know, met people that like the same thing as them, you know, or maybe they were going through a hard time and then they had this two hours where they did not have to think about whatever was going on, you know? And so I just, I just really, um, I really like to pray for the people beforehand. And so my friend said, yeah, I just really wish, you know, you would have had the prayer in there again. Cause usually I pray before paint and praise. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. You know, cause the lady that introduced me and then we just got going and it was like 65 people there and I think you know things just start going and then I totally forgot and I was like oh my gosh she goes yeah it just kind of sets you know the intention for everybody there you know it's not about being perfect and having everything happen like it's supposed to it's about the process and actually experiencing that and just um having fun with people you know like I think so many times we're so busy and we forget that sometimes it's just nice to to have fun you know to do something you normally wouldn't do and um, I have to be cautious because my daughter because I do this as a job you know as a for a living which I absolutely love I have to be cautious because I'll forget to do stuff like this with with her for fun you know because I'm like always doing it I just added um southern charm wreaths in the middle there um I'll forget, you know, she wants to do that too for fun, you know? And so um, we made a list actually yesterday. And um, do y'all do this? Like make a list for what you want to do for the Christmas holidays. And um, we make a list like in October every year of all the things we want to do because we just want to um, have, you know, make sure that we check them all off. Like whether it's ice skating, make cookies. Do y'all do that? Are we the only crazy ones? And um, Anyway, I just want to say thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And please share this video if you don't mind. That'd be awesome. We are, I think Julie is going to be giving away. Here's like my little mini, mini version. Um, Julie's going to be giving away, um, I think the wreath, if that's right. If that's wrong, Julie, please correct me. Um, but I'm going to be shipping this off to her tomorrow so that she can do a Facebook Live. And then please, guys, thank y'all so much for liking this, liking my page, and being here. I, this is the most lives of, you know, live viewers I've had at once. So I was really nervous at first. Thank y'all for hanging out with me and being a part of this. I was like shaking. I don't know if y'all saw that. I was just literally shaking the thing. And I always tell people in my programs, I'm like, just go live. You know, you'll be fine. And, and um, I haven't like been that nervous in a long time. So thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. If you would um, check out the links on the description, you can find out more about Julie's. You can find out um, a free video from me about how to get your paint party started. And thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for being here. And those of you that asked about actually buying the little mini trucks, 
Um, if you'll message me, if I don't get back to you tonight, I will tomorrow. But let me know and we can work out a price. Whether you're just wanting them blank, which I can refer you to Craft Creations. I have a link. Or you can um, you can have me paint them for you. So let me know. All right, guys. Thank y'all so, so much. And let me know, again, if you have any more questions. And um, thanks so much time for taking the time to teach us. You're awesome. God bless you. Oh, God bless y'all. Thank y'all for being here. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.